This week we're going to use MetPy to discover the difference between the LCL and the CCL. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week I want to talk about a simple demonstration that you can have your students do or maybe even yourself to help reinforce your understanding of some of these convective parameters. Now we've talked about the lifting condensation level, or LCL, before. And this is when air reaches saturation, when it's forced up by some kind of lifting mechanism. So something like a mountain, or a front, or some kind of maybe a, a boundary, Vortmax, something causes the air to be forced upward, and it rises in a dry adiabatic way. Eventually, that air reaches saturation, and that level is the LCL. And MetPy has been able to calculate that for some time. The CCL is a new addition in this most recent version of MetPy, and this is the convective condensation level. This is the level where air becomes saturated, it's lifted and cooled, just like before, but the lifting does not come from some arbitrary mechanical, if you will, lifting mechanism but it's from buoyancy. So we have to heat the air at the Earth's surface until that air parcel becomes buoyant and begins to rise on its own. How much do we have to heat it? Well, we have to heat it to something called the convective temperature. The air reaches that convective temperature and then it begins to rise. So now that we can calculate that with MetPy, let's do it. We're gonna get the CCL and the convective temperature. And then, Let's think about what the CCL and LCL, what kind of relationship they should have, and let's verify that by pulling some data and making a plot. All right, so of course, first we have to start with our imports. From date time, import date time. I'm going to import metpy.calc as mpcalc. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. From metpy.units, going to import the units registry and the pandas data frame to unit arrays helper. And from siphon.simplewebservice.wyoming, I'm going to import the Wyoming upper air object. I see simple web service. Now, just like last week, we've talked a lot about how to get data before, so I'm not going to go too deep into that. But we'll specify a date time. Let's say January 1st, 2023. We'll just leave that at 0z. A station. Let's pick OUN. We're going to get our data as a data frame by calling the Wyoming Upper Air Objects Request Data Method. Date station. And then we're going to use the pandas data frame to unit arrays helper to turn that data frame into a dictionary of unit arrays. If we look at mpcalc.ccl and the documentation for that, which you can pull up this handy window by using shift tab in a notebook, we see that it takes pressure, temperature, and dew point, and there are of course some optional parameters as well. So let's give it those pressure. Temperature, dew point. And what do we get back? Well, we get back three things. One has units of hectopascals, and two have units of degrees Celsius. Now, you might be able to guess what these are, but let's look at that documentation again. There's the description of the parameters, but we also have returns. So the first thing we have is the CCL pressure, then CCL temperature, then the convective temperature. So for free convection to occur on the first at OUN, we would have had to reach 33 and a half degrees Celsius at the surface. Probably not going to happen in January in Oklahoma, though it is Oklahoma. But let's now look at and think about CCLs and LCLs compared to each other. Should one be higher than the other always, or can they sometimes trade places? 
These are great questions to think about if you're in a thermodynamics class. So which one should be higher? Or should one always be higher? Do you expect any kind of patterns throughout the year or any kind of patterns associated with weather systems moving across the country? So you can answer all of these questions with MetPy. The simple one that we're going to answer is which one is higher, the LCL or CCL? Now you should always form a hypothesis and I'll let you do that now, figure out which one you think it should be. And then we're going to pull data from 12 months of the year and we'll make a plot of that. And then it'll be up to you to explore that plot for anything else interesting that you might see. All right, so I'm gonna create a list for my CCLs, my LCLs for month in range one to 13, that'll give us one to 12 since the last is not inclusive. I'm going to use 2021 month, the first of the month, and let's pull the 12Z sounding. I'm gonna print that date. The station is going to be BMX. We'll use Wyoming upper air request data for date and station. Then we'll use pandas data frame to unit arrays. I'm gonna call lcls.append mpcalc.lcl. Remember that's pressure temperature dew point. Close that parenthesis. Dew point. Okay, I'm gonna copy pressure temperature dew point because I know we're gonna need that again. As we do ccls.append mpcalc.ccl pressure temperature dew point. Now, the question is, if we just run this, we're actually gonna get a lot back because remember, we just want the starting state. The LCL just depends on the starting state, whereas the CCL needs the entire profile. All right, so I'm gonna index zero, zero, zero. Also, that's going to return to me pressure and temperature. I'm just interested in the pressure because I want to know which one's higher. So I'm going to use a zero index on that. And I'm going to use a zero index here as well because I just want the pressure. So we'll run that. It's going to go through the 12 months of the year. And get our data. All right, and we can make our plot. So I'm going to go ahead and make a range one to 13 for my months, figure and axis, plot dot subplots. We'll create both of those for us. I'm gonna call ax dot scatter, month, LCLs. Go ahead and label it as LCL. Ax dot scatter month, CCLs, label it as CCL. Go ahead and set our Y limit so that we've got a little bit of space around what we would expect them to be. And it's inverted. And plot a legend. And what do we get? Well, we get that the orange dots or the CCLs are always higher than or equal to the LCL, which is true because we're having to warm that parcel at the surface to get it to rise to begin with. Whereas with the LCL, it's lifted by some mechanical means, so it can reach saturation much more quickly. I hope that you found this useful and that you'll be able to integrate this and other ideas with MetPy into your research and into your teaching. I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.